adventure. Well, now that's the life. I've been cranky since morning. Merchant was right. Actually, does look like a giant cat. What's got into him acting well, so well, hard? Well, well, another freak. Must be dealing with this tech. Seems to me I've heard of you before, white hair. What? Hey now! Pick and choose while I've the inclination. Once I close. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Another track. No bread, no coin, porridge. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Mutant. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Like everyone else. Door is wide open. Interesting. at least literate, if not outright educated. About Novigrad. I had a loaf of bread too, but the I dropped it and decided not to show back. Wise choice. <sighs> if anything Wait happens. Here. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the Eternal Fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. You's a non human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was some pretty bad acting. 
Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me! <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait! Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Please, stop. I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher, but that won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. You learn something, but not everything. I spare any monsters that aren't dangerous. Thing is, you attacked me, unprovoked, so that doesn't apply to you. Did you get your scrofula ointment? I don't know. Greetings, Master. Problem solved. That imp of yours turned out to be a Doppler. Kept shape shifting until I took its head. A Doppler? Seems we've no means to rid ourselves of this scourge. We burn one, another appears. Cursed pests. Perhaps now they'll give the market a wide berth at the least. I thank you, Master Witcher, in my own name and the guilds. <laughs> the best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push, enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. Let me have a look. Oh, 
I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania from the heat alone? These corpses came straight out of those tales. Let's talk about my pay first. I know what my services are worth. I believe I can pay you that, provided, of course, that you do well. Bodies buried yet? Where? Orders were to burn them. Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. Need something sharpened, reforged. Like you to craft something for me. Think you can? So long. Oh. Ow! Light one. Take a gander over here. 
A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Indeed. Going on some voyage looking for a companion, right? Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either. A black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. I time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Put your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. It's everywhere. I, I, I see it all around. Greetings, Hello. Sweet thing. A good day for comers. You're the medic. What can I help you with? I'm looking into the dead guards. Heard you did autopsies. Did their friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help. Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. But perhaps they tried to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely. From their adventures with whores. Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. Good luck. Oh! Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. Double shoes. Giddy up. on two legs. Arr! My wife's mum's an old succubus. Mm. Drake's a witcher. Oh. Beg your pardon? Beg your pardon? Sweet thing. Pam, 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 Pam. Evidence all points. 
points to crippled Kate's. Something unusual. Greetings. Oh, here it is. The apocalypse. A witch has walked into my brothel. What's strange about that? What's strange is you. Everyone knows witches are freaks, mutants, unnatural. And this here is a decent brothel for whores with principles. Well, spit it out. Got all the same bits in your trousers like a normal lad. Last I checked, everything was where it should be. Heard about the murders? Guardsmen? Many perish round here. It's the pleasure kills them. Tell the truth. The succubus. It draws customers. It's raised our take in something wonderful. I know it's a threat, but... I don't know that it kills. A succubus? Where'll I find it? I've placed it in a house nearby. Here's the key. Guards. I was careless. Let them surprise me. They wished to kill me. I had to defend myself. That it? No heart-rending story about human hatred for all things different, all things strange? I'm not one to lie, nor do I kill without reason. You gotta leave the city. And what if I don't? I'll have to kill you. I despise change. How stupid of me to walk into an ambush, let myself be surprised. I'll have to lie about killing you. Usually I bring a trophy. Very well, take this. And this, because I'm furious with you. Though I shall calm down once I'm away from this place. Make some coin too, hey. Wonderful. were killed by a succubus. Su succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the eternal fire protects the city. Must have gone out a few times recently. Anyway, succubus won't harm anyone anymore. Here's proof. Masterful work, Witcher. And here's your reward, as promised. Farewell.
Open up. Boy. Should pick your men more carefully. Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said. Take it. without the other. Then I don't want them. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil was as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find.
drifter in from Tamaria. Ah! Run, Roach. Ah! There must be order. Greetings. You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes. Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Faster. What's he doing here? Again, want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? Oh God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight. Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. <laughs> Yes, but next time... Go back to mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Come on, Roach. Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said And that... this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. 
We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. I thought that instead of training in a dank gold cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. If that's what the lady wishes. Just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. On guard! You're quick! Ow! Ow! Stop! I yield! You alright? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varadra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. What's he doing here? Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Though it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Ah, oh, we'll tempt it were ourselves. You've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For, forgive me, milady. I. I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kobe. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path.
faster. Show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novigrad or death. That's enough for you, lot. Sod off, or I'll have you skewered. <laughs> they seem desperate. Let them through. Can't see any harm in it. Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. Let these people pass. Yes, sir. Thank you. We got nowhere to go back to. Novigrad. That's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We'll be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. But you. You was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb near Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Good luck. My granddad wants to return from his travels with them. Greetings. What is it, hmm? Don't mind him. Sit with us. You're most welcome to. Though be warned, we're in the middle of some serious studying, as our learned companion calls it. Thanks. Be happy to join you. What do they call you? I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. They call me Rufus, and this here learned fellow is Theophile Maria Roscoe, and, and this is, uh, sorry, Manfred. I'm Manfred. Uh, exactly. Uh, Geralt. Heard that name before. You frequent the fairs? Nope. You've confused him with Gerard, the stage artist who indeed attends fairs and breaks wind to the tune of popular melodies. To the delight of the crowds, I'd add, our guest is none other than the White Wolf himself. Well, my apologies. Ain't you the one that... You know, the, the room was about Foltest's death. No, wasn't me. Hmm. Any news of the war, for instance? They say the Black Ones will mount a new offensive soon to cross the Pontar. I bet diamonds to peanuts Radovid won't manage to repel this time. Such a shame Henselt perished in Lormark. Blasted dragon slayer! Right you are. With Henselt alive, Nilfgaard wouldn't have had it so easy in the east. The Emperor's sure to take Novigrad soon. He'll seize the Temple Vault, the City Armada, the West will be all but his as well. 
You know a lot for an ordinary merchant. I do. What of it, hmm? Just that it makes me like you even less. First you ask about the message I'm carrying. Now you say you're waiting for Nilfgaard to cross the Pontar. You better come with me. I know some people who'd want to talk to you. You'll have to kill me first. If needs must. Relax. A misunderstanding. That's all this is. Hold him, Witcher. I'll find a rope. Ha! Not a chance! Sorry, not about to get involved. I'll fucking manage on my own! Virginia! Stay in formation! Grey boy, calm down, or one Nilfgaardian mole less. Can't actually know he was a spy. Oh, he was, he was. I know him on sight. See my share. On your way now, you're no use to us. Fucking neutrality. Fatherland needs to be defended. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Ah, had it right. Purse full of Nilfgaardian florins. Run, Roach. Get you trouble me, Grey. It's true you kill kings. You and our commander. Oh. Now, Whoa, witches, Ooh. they can't ah. use the trouble me, Grey. Isn't that right? Oh. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulbradale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, oh, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge, and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. 
What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. Sure you kill King. You and our commander. Uh! A witcher. Just what our band of merry men. Run, Roach. A witcher. Just what our band of merry men. You trouble me, Grey Dogs.